What's up, you guys? It's your boy Avery here, back at it again with another video. Today's video, of course, is how to turn this right here into this right here. So very simple, very easy. It doesn't take a long process. It's probably maybe about two, three minutes, maybe five, depending on how artistic you is and how you take your time with it. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a regular normal season one mask into an actual season five mask from the flash. And it's not that long. So the items you will need, of course, is a season one mask, um, um, with uh, some acrylic, no, not acrylic paint. You will need yellow acrylic paint. You will need some spray paint primer. You will need some red spray paint, some clear coating, so the paint won't come off. And uh, a few other items I forget to do, but I'm going to explain it through the process ahead. So when we when you first start, you're obviously going to start off with cutting up. The mask and so what you're going to actually do because I have the mask right here so I'm going to show you in a bit of how it turned out um, and I'm going to show you some pictures at the end of the video um, so how you're supposed to do with the mask is you get reference pictures online of the season 5 mask don't worry about the back portion just mostly worry about the sides and the front angle that's all you need to worry about um, things like that. Um, straightforward ahead, you're going to start off with using, um, you're going to cut off, you can use scissors, some really good sharp scissors, but I use an exacto knife to cut them through to give it the clean cut that I wanted. And um, what you're going to have to do is start off with cutting off the neck part and the chin. And then you're going to look at the reference picture and notice how the, uh, the curve on the mask is so you're basically going to use the exacto knife and do that you can use a sharpie to draw it out because either way you're going to still like paint over top of it so don't worry after everything is cut out and it's good um you will need to get a, a mannequin head um yeah you get a mannequin head and um with this one right here i, I just got a mannequin head that um my mom used for crafting and stuff and uh, I didn't want to ruin it up because it's her favorite mannequin head so I, I put some plastic bags over it. I put three of these on here that's why you see the red spray paint um then next what you're going to do is um you place the mask on there and then this is when the process of painting is going to go you go outside and you spray paint it with some primer, put like three coats on, on it um, or, or two and then do another one tomorrow, the next day after that. Um, after it's fully white and then the coating is very good, then you spray paint the whole entire thing with complete black. But if you want to try to cover up the lightning bolts because you don't want the lightning bolts to get messed up or ruined, um, I forget, I, I don't know what to use, but I know it's... A certain type of tape that you can use to cover it up so the the paint won't mess up the lightning bolts like that um then you spray paint the uh, whole entire thing completely uh red so it's fully red and then what you're going to do with the lightning bolts is get some yellow acrylic paint on it um and then you basically paint the lightning bolts after you're finished painting the lightning bolts that's pretty much it um, that the process you're still going to put a clear coating on top of the mask so the paint won't come off so you can still do that but there is another piece to the the mask so you um it's the neck portion to make the neck portion the items you need for this definitely i know is a sewing machine um or you don't have to use a sewing machine but um just buy a regular normal spandex red mask um that covers like your whole entire face right um because what you're going to do is you're going to cut a hole in it so it will help stretch out and it will wrap from underneath your chin and then cover the top of your head and then if it has a zipper on the back it's fine um it's just a spandex mask but what i did was i made mine by hand by using um a, uh, i bought a regular uh, red spandex material from in stores and then i actually 
cut out as a template. There was a video I used, so you, I, I won't be able to put it in the link in the description, but you can search it up on how to make a spandex mask on YouTube. But then um, I sewed it, I sewed it up at a school during the time. Then I came home after cutting the hole and stuff out. I made the mask and I put the mask up on top. But to glue it together so it could be one whole piece, piece you need clear. Um, is it six thousand super glue or seven thousand? One, the other I think. But it's clear. You have to get the clear one because if you get the black one, is that you're gonna see straight through the spandex and stuff and and the the mask. So you really don't want that to happen. But after the whole process of all that is complete and it's done and then here's maybe some of the reference pictures of what it looks like now i'm actually going to show it to you right here um but um yeah so this was the whole process of how i did the the mask so here it is um it's kind of dusty a bit because um a lot of cleaning up and stuff so but don't worry um I, i'm still going to clean this up because um of certain things so i'm gonna definitely fix this but i did um paint the lightning bolts you see here it's a little bit uh, weird but it's okay i tried my best um but like i said i cut the shape don't worry about the back portion where you see this flat back so don't worry about that because i know the design of the back is totally different but just don't worry about that and as far as i know of the mask is fully complete even though i got a lot of hair it's okay um it still is gonna work um even though uh, even though the lightning bolts are uh up here and not near where my ears is at um you won't have to worry about that because the spandex is going to be covering your ears so it will make it seem totally different so you really won't have to worry about it but although the mask turned out great uh, i really like it um and since i actually have the season five uh suit i'm gonna actually use this as one of my cosplays but i'm gonna try my best to um because i thought about doing is creating multiple of these and maybe selling these or something um because when i first spray painted it was all white it gave me an idea of creating a godspeed C uh, cw um season five mask um and it will look really cool but um that's just in my opinion um but yeah the pictures are gonna pop up on the screen um of the clear look even because it's, it's really dark in here and stuff um but yeah that's all the time i have of this video right here i wanted to make sure you guys know how to create one because i know there's a few others that really want to know how to make a mask and especially one of the cosplayers i actually seen on instagram when he created his reboot with wally out of the mask that he didn't have no neck piece to attach to the map to attach to the mask so this will maybe help him a lot um really the process the process is not that long it's very easy the only pro the only part that is long is maybe the spray paint because you're gonna have to do uh three coatings and then wait the next day to do more but what i did was i did three coatings um, but I did everything early in the morning and then wait until the afternoon to do the rest and then spray paint it all red. Um, but, what, but you're going to really like it um, too. The paintbrush you, I would prefer you to use if you're going to do the acrylic paint part is use the thick parts first. And then if you're trying to get into the big, like hard parts, use the little tiny brushes. That will actually help you a lot through the process of trying to paint the whole light and most yellow. Um, and then, like I said, I didn't put no clear coating on it, um, and I did it by accident because I noticed that I have a little yellow s s scratch and a white scratch on my mask. So I'm going to have to fix that too, and, uh, and not right now, but I'm going to fix it sooner or later. But don't worry. Um, I will present the full costume when it's complete very soon. Um, yeah, so, so that's all the time I have. Uh, make sure to 
like, comment, subscribe. There's more videos coming out soon. Um, Titans, of course, is this summer. It's already summer, but we're trying to hurry up, record it early, um, things like that. And so, yeah, that's all the time I have. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.